So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and after a long time we are back with some examples, example charts. So one of the most frequently asked query that I get is will I be successful if I go and do a master's or should I uh, go and do master's, master's abroad especially in context of like the western countries. Uh, or inside India it could also mean uh, going from uh, one part like from the north to the <coughs> south or from the east to the west or from the west to the east uh, either way because India is a very big country it's like a continent you see <coughs> so and also of course for um, countries like Australia because that's in the east of India but that is also considered to be a developed country it's considered to be the west Alright, it could also mean Russia and so many other countries. Uh, although uh, these statistics are very debatable, but uh, regarding uh, which is a developed country, which is not, but in general. Uh, so this video will help you to understand. Alright, so as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, then please go to my website. You will find the link down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Alright, so this is the chart of a person. <coughs> now, when was this person born? Uh, this person is born on 19th April uh, 1985. And Nizamabad uh, is his place, Uttar Pradesh. And 1211. Uh, is his birth time this is afternoon all right i mean uh, noon time around that time now the thing is what are the parameters that you have to check when it comes to uh, doing masters uh, first of all the person should have a strong ninth house because master's degree is higher education um, it is uh, specialization and all this but we are not just talking of masters here. We are talking of masters abroad. So then, which are, uh, what are the factors that take a person abroad? Well, of course, uh, we know that the 12th house has to be prominent uh, and uh, the, the Dasha Lords should somehow indicate uh, sometimes the 7th house also. Okay. Why 7th house? Because that is 4th from the 4th. It is Bhavad Bhavam of the 4th house. So it is like a home away from home. And that can also give us permanent settlement if the 3rd lord and the 11th lord are well placed. Because then the person can get a citizenship of a different country or so. Alright, so... <coughs> And of course, for education, we really need to check um, how are these houses like um, the uh, fourth house, how is the uh, fifth house, how is the ninth house, how is the eleventh house, all right? And from a career perspective, we really need to check the second house, sixth house, tenth house, eleventh house. So, so keep in mind when you are doing a consultation, if somebody comes to you and gives you a asks you for a career reading, and then you, uh, so sorry, not career, uh, education or master's consultation, then don't just see that because eventually that person will be getting into a job or have his or her own business. So then we also have to check from a career perspective. Okay, so. Uh, if you look in this chart, uh, we will see the Lagna chart and uh, of course uh, placements have to be taken from the Bhav chart but uh, uh, let's assume in this case that the planets are in the same houses. Okay, So if, uh, if you don't know what's a Bhav chart then uh, you can always go to Exotic Astrology Bhav chart video. You can type it in YouTube. B H A A V C H A R T exotic astrology. You will see that the bhav chart is the chart where you get to know where the planets are placed. Okay, uh, the house, and this is the lagna chart which tells you the zodiac sign. Okay, now we assume that uh, they are in the same houses and as in the same sign. So, for example, we will assume for this for the simplicity of this video that. Uh, moon is not only in Pisces here, but he is also in the ninth house. Okay. Now, he may or may not be in the ninth house depending on the bhav chart, but we will assume here for the simplicity. Alright, 
now uh, if you see what's going on you see uh, first of all we need to check the ascendant lord this is number four so this is a cancer ascendant cancer rising chart so lord is moon where is moon placed moon is placed in the ninth house you see moon is placed in the ninth house and is also placed in a uh, friend sign he's in pisces and jupiter is a great friend to the moon so he is very well placed so there you go uh, the first connection is there with the ninth house so this person will be very much inclined towards uh, doing master's degree or having higher education of any sort not just uh, standard like university the person can always like to learn uh, then we need to check uh, what's going on with the 12th house because 12th house is the house of foreign lands you know distant lands okay so if you go and check there what's happening the 12th lord is mercury okay mercury is placed again in the ninth house he's conjunct the lord of the ascendant so whenever the lagnesh and the 12th house has some yoga uh, it can show that the person gets success but in a distant land okay the person has to leave because see the ascendant shows <coughs> everything that is near to you your family is like your ascendant you are like the ascendant your friends are like the ascendant okay your birth country is like the ascendant so because they are things which are very close to you right hopefully or supposedly or they are supposed to be in most of the cases but not for everybody sometimes when people leave their home country or birthplace and they go outside they become more successful right now you see what's happening a mercury is in debility uh, which means he is um, having he's going to have some problems if he goes abroad okay it, the journey won't be very easy but here mercury is getting niche bhanga which means the debility is uh, is being mitigated somehow through the placement of venus because venus is exalted there you see and then uh, for education overall we also check the fourth house and we also check the fifth house okay so what's going on where's the fifth lord placed the fifth uh, so sorry where's the fourth lord placed we'll check the fourth lord first so fourth lord is again venus is again placed with the ascendant lord in the ninth house so there's a very strong desire in this person for studying for uh, educating himself or uh, in any field okay and he's exalted there so it's showing very good education okay <coughs> And Venus here is not only the fourth lord; he's also the eleventh lord of success, name, fame, recognition. Okay, labha sthan basically, not in a career perspective necessarily. Labha, name, fame can come from any perspective, any any area if the eleventh house is linked. So here it is strictly indicating education because the houses of education are fourth, fifth, ninth. Now you see what's happening. What about the fifth lord? The fifth house shows intelligence. Okay. <clears throat> um, where is the fifth lord place? Who is the fifth lord? It's Mars. So Mars is placed in the eleventh house. Again, another extraordinary placement. Okay, and he's aspecting back his own house. So this is a very good placement. The eleventh house. This shows success in any field that the person uh, overtakes. Okay. So now what's happening is. Uh, you are uh, having the debilitated 12th lord which is mercury but he's getting niche bhanga by the fourth lord and the 11th lord venus so that means fourth lord means uh, uh, somebody from his homeland or 11th lord can mean his friends so if he has difficulties his friends can help him out okay <coughs> or somebody connected to his mother some relative some female basically because it's venus who is giving mercury the niche bhanga okay and mercury can represent documents like uh ex getting your residence permit and all this so he might have problems there but uh, because of venus he may be able to go through them so now uh this is a very simplistic analysis but then you have to check the 10th house also so uh, what's going on the 10th lord mangal again is in the 11th house fantastic this is like out of the world and the 11th lord is in the ninth house another fantastic combination for career progress then 
we have the uh, second lord which is the sun is in the 10th house another extraordinary placement so i have said so many times that if the lords of the second six tenth and eleven they are sitting in each other's houses should i repeat the lords of the second six tenth and eleventh are sitting in each other's houses like here uh, second lord is sitting in the 10th house and 10th lord is in the 11th house so right these are really extraordinary placements to have <coughs> and now the thing is uh, you have to go down to the nakshatras and see what are the nakshatras telling so if you check uh, you have to check majority planets so you have to check most of the planets okay what they are telling this is how you know the flow of the chart so lagna nakshatra is pushya Pashya means Pushya Nakshatra. Pushya Nakshatra anyways is known for, you know, gurus, guides, counselors and uh, teaching, learning. And if you see in the Navamsha, Jupiter is also exalted in the ninth house. You see in Cancer, extremely powerful. So therefore, the inclination for teaching and learning and uh, gaining knowledge uh, by being like a student is always there. It's there in the Lagna Nakshatra itself. And... Uh, if you check who is the lord of Pushya Nakshatra, planetary lord is Saturn. Where is he placed? Saturn himself is placed in the fifth house, which is again the house of knowledge. Right now, you see uh, where is Sun placed? Let's go here. So, Sun is in Aries, he's in Ashwini Nakshatra, which is lorded by Ketu. Where is Ketu placed? He's again in the fourth house, you see. Excellent for education. Then what about moon? Moon is in Revati Nakshatra. Revati is ruled by Mercury. Where is Mercury? Again, he's in the ninth house. Excellent for education. What about Mars? Mars. Mars is in Kritika Nakshatra, lauded by Sun. Where is Sun? He's in the tenth house. Extremely powerful for career. Uh, and Mars is also the fifth lord. So therefore, uh, yeah, so, yeah, sorry, yeah, Mars is in Kritika. So Sun himself is the second lord, which again is very good for career and he's himself in the 10th house. Now, what about Mercury? He's in the 9th house, but he's in Uttar Bhadrapada, which is again lauded by Saturn, who is again sitting in the fifth house, which is also the house of uh, the student you see learning it's mantra diksha also uh, doing things by your uh, own intelligence right that's what is the fifth house then what about jupiter he's in the seventh house again fourth from the fourth he's in shravan nakshatra who is lorded who lord shravan shravan is lorded by the moon right where is moon placed again he's placed in the ninth house what about Venus? Where is he placed? Uttar Bhadrapat. Again, who lords Uttar Bhadrapat? Saturn. Again, he is in the fifth house. Now, what about Saturn? He lords Vishak. He is um, he is in Scorpio uh, himself in the fifth house, and he is in Vishaka Nakshatra. Who lords Vishaka? Jupiter. He is again. Jupiter is in the seventh house. You see. Now, what about Rahu? Rahu is in Bharani. Yes. Who lords Bharani? Venus. Again, he's in the ninth house. What about Ketu? He's in the fourth house. But he is in Vishaka Nakshatra. Who is the lord of Vishaka? Again, Jupiter is the lord. Again, he is in the seventh house. So, from this chart, you can guarantee that this person is going for higher education. This person will go abroad. Now, the question is which country will this person go? Okay. What kind of an university will be so this person uh, now you calculate like this so this person is born in 1985 so roughly about the age of 25 around this person must have gone so when did this person go this person had gone in the 25th year which is like 24th birthday plus so around 2010 this person had gone okay for uh, doing masters he had gone to USA to a very famous university now why did he go to USA and why a famous university because if you check this dasha 
सो ही वॉज रनिंग वीनस दशा एंड दिस इज द टाइम वन राहुल दशा एंडेड राहु अंतर दशा सो जुपिटर अंतर दशा स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम जून टू थाउजेंड एट टू जु फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड सो ही मस्ट हैव अप्लाइड टू यू एस एंड गिवेन हिज यू नो जी आर ई और टोफेल और वट एवर एग्जाम्स दैट आर नीडेड ड्यूरिंग दिस जुपिटर पीरियड एंड ही ऑल्सो गॉट एडमिशन ड्यूरिंग जुपिटर एंड ही ऑल्सो uh cleared and he reached germany uh sorry not germany usa uh <coughs> all during this dasha all right venus and jupiter now venus jupiter venus are very great benefit so whenever they will give you something <coughs> they will uh make the ambience very good so the people will be very supportive uh you will uh, you will feel very good when you go there okay and jupiter himself as we discussed he is in the 7th house which can take you away and his nakshatra lord which is moon because he is in shravan is again in the 9th house okay and venus needless to discuss he is exalted 4th lord in the 9th house 11th lord in the 9th house all right now if you see uh Jupiter is in the nakshatra of the moon and moon is the ascendant lord so this was like a very crucial event for this person's life of course it it will be for anybody but this person because the lagna is involved so <coughs> this person will have lots of changes uh, in his intelligence and his thought process the way he thinks about life in general and if you see here jupiter is also exalted if you look at his navamsha chart it is exalted here okay <coughs> so very powerful position this is now of course he is also with saturn so there will also be some challenges which he uh, which he will face inevitably <coughs> all right when he goes for doing his masters indeed uh, that can, that can result in some strictness by some professors because saturn is in the 9th house again it shows professors you know <coughs> anyway so this 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 is uh, a way how you can see that. now now if you see 2010 11 and 12 so that means <coughs> his jupiter dasha ended okay and then he would have either started his company or got a job uh, in this saturn dasha now what about saturn how is he placed <coughs> so if you check saturn he is the lord of the 7th house and he is also the lord of the 8th house and he is placed in the 5th house okay and what about jupiter why jupiter because he is in vishakha and vishakha is lorded by jupiter now jupiter here is the 9th lord but he is also the 6th lord so here you know 8th lord in the nakshatra of the 6th lord bit challenging placement so <coughs> and this challenge is quite uh, serious you know so he he got a job but it was very low profile for him okay he had to compromise a bit because when planets are badly placed or the dusthanas are involved then you may get a job but you have to compromise your uh, position okay so he was doing a job which was uh, where he would get a salary which was uh, between the salary of a bachelor student and a master student <coughs> so then you know this is like a compromise all right but does he have to keep compromising always well definitely not certainly not always because then his dashas will change eventually all right the dashas will not remain the same always okay then what about the next dasha mercury so mercury dasha started in 2014 so what about mercury mercury is in debility but the debility is getting cancelled third lord is involved here okay so some interviews and you know interview process selection negotiation all these things are going on and where is uh, mercury placed he is in the 9th house uh, but he is uh, also in uttar bhadra pada which is again lorded by saturn you see <coughs> so here uh, the 8th lord is involved and also mercury is the 12th lord so i would say a bit of tough luck after completing his masters okay 
and now of course this person is very well situated in a very big position in a very famous uh, it company uh, in usa <coughs> and his life completely took a u turn when his uh, uh dasha changed uh, to ketu actually so when venus ketu started he got many big positions because ketu is in the fourth house you may be wondering what's so great about the fourth house right well uh, do not forget rahu ketu they give results of their dispositors and planets which aspect them and which they are conjunct also so now ketu is not conjunct any planet but he's been aspected by sun and sun is the second lord in the 10th house and his dispositor is venus who is also the lord of the 11th all right so the 10th house and the 11th house they are most power packed houses they have come and uh, so from venus ketu from around 2017 18 his life started changing and he started getting big big positions and now of course he is uh, running his son mahadasha currently and son is the second lord in the 10th house in the nakshatra of ketu which again indicates the 10th house and 11th house and this person is in a very big managerial position and this person has like uh, almost uh, 40 to 50 employees working under him subordinates okay so he is like in a very good position very well paid and if you see his overall career what will happen next is moon dasha is there moon mahadasha is there so what about moon moon is uh, in revati nakshatra again uh, mercury's nakshatra third lord 12th lord in the ninth so it shows that he might move uh, from a manager to a consultant role you know because mercury is involved the third house is involved then what about mars mars mahadasha to till 2041 so mars is the 10th lord in the 11th fantastic needless to say fifth lord even better where is mars placed in kritika nakshatra whose lord is sun in the 10th house mind blowing out of the walls to pendus so uh, this is how you know that this person is going to have a very good career and then rahu mahadasha will be uh, coming for him and what about rahu he himself is in the 10th house where is rahu placed he is in bharani whose lord is venus the 11th lord fantastic out of the world mind blowing all right so this is an example of a chart where this person got uh, admit and came into a very big university very famous but struggled to do a proper job but eventually uh, there was success and luckily his son mahadasha started and bang on everything just uh, was all worth it okay after 2017 when this venus ketu started and eventually son mahadasha okay <clears throat> so this is how you should analyze uh, the horoscopes when you are doing a consultation for master see it from a education point of view first as we did and then from a career perspective also because after all everybody is interested in career right they just don't do a masters and come back or even if they come back they will do a job here or they will open their company so it's always linked to their career okay all right thank you very much for your patience and as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation you will find my website down in the description section all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him